Hi friends, I'm Miss Katie and welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. We are celebrating not the first week of Lent or the second week of Lent, we are on the third week of Lent. And if you remember, we've been using different hats to help us think about the Gospel story. In our first Sunday of Lent, we used this headscarf to remember Jesus going out into the desert for 40 days, just like we celebrate Lent for 40 days. Then last Sunday, we remembered that special experience called the Transfiguration. And do you remember that Jesus went up on a mountain and he glowed with a bright white light? So we had our flashlight to remember that. This week, we're gonna hear the story of Jesus feeling like things need to get fixed up. Which of these hats that I have here do you think might help us think about Jesus needing to fix things? Did you guess my construction hat? You were right. Let's listen to the story first of Moses receiving the Ten Commandments and then our gospel story where Jesus is going to fix some things up in the temple. Let's begin. Friends, if you're ready for our first reading, show me hands on your head, hands on your shoulders, and praying hands in your lap. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord gave Moses these commandments. I am the Lord your God, I brought you out of Egypt where you were slaves. Do not worship any god but me. Do not misuse my name. I am the Lord your God, and I will punish anyone who misuses my name. Remember that the Sabbath day belongs to me. Respect your father and your mother, and you will live a long time in the land that I am giving you. Do not murder. Be faithful in marriage. Do not steal. Do not tell lies about others. Do not want what belongs to someone else. Do not want anyone's house or wife or slaves or cattle or donkeys or anything else. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hi again, my friends. And in our first reading, we heard how God gave the Ten Commandments to the Israelites. And in our psalm today, we sing to God and we thank him for his commandments and for loving us and for giving us wisdom in his commandments. And our psalm goes like this. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The law of the Lord is perfect. It gives us new life. His teachings last forever, and they give wisdom to ordinary people. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The Lord's instruction is right. It makes our hearts glad. His commands shine brightly, and they give us light. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. All his decisions are correct and fair. They are worth more than the finest gold. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Thanks, everyone. That was beautiful singing. And now let's sing our song before the gospel, before we hear Jesus speak to us. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ,
King of endless glory. Friends, before we hear our gospel, let's remember how we begin. I will start by saying, the Lord be with you. And then you will reply, and with your spirit. Then I will say a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. And together, we will make the sign of the cross and say, glory to you, O Lord. Are you ready to begin? The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Not long before the Jewish festival of Passover, Jesus went to Jerusalem. There he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves in the temple. He also saw money changers sitting at their tables. So he took some rope and made a whip. Then he chased everyone out of the temple together with their sheep and cattle. He turned over the tables of the money changers and scattered their coins. Jesus said to the people who had been selling doves, get those doves out of here. Don't make my father's house a marketplace. The disciples then remember that the scriptures say, my love for your house burns in me like a fire. The Jewish leaders asked Jesus, what miracle will you work to show us why you have done this? Destroy this temple, Jesus answered, and in three days I will build it again. The leaders replied, it took 46 years to build this temple. What makes you think you can rebuild it in three days? But Jesus was talking about his body as a temple. And when he was raised from death, his disciples remembered what he had told them. Then they believed the scriptures and the words of Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our gospel today, we heard the story about Jesus cleaning out the temple. Now, this isn't a temple. This is a church, but they're similar in a lot of ways. It's God's house as a place where we worship. Let's take a look inside God's house. Are you ready to take a peek? What do you see inside here? I bet you notice some things that are familiar from Mass. You see the priest and the altar and the tabernacle and the ambo. But do animals belong inside the church? No, they don't. Now, in Jesus' day, sometimes people would bring animals as an offering. But that is not what was happening in our gospel today. People were bringing animals into the church to make money. And let's take a peek outside of the church. Do you see all of these people out here? They're treating God's house like a shopping center and not like a place where we praise and worship God. And how did Jesus feel about this? Was he happy about it? Oh, no. He got pretty mad, didn't he? And he wanted those people to clean up their act. He wanted God's house treated with respect. And then later on in the reading, he gave us a little hint about what was to come. During the season of Lent, we are getting our hearts ready because we are going to celebrate Easter when we remember that Jesus died but is risen. And in the gospel, Jesus was giving us a little hint, I am going to destroy this temple but rebuild it in three days to help us think about how he died on the cross but three days later he rose again. Now, what does this all mean for us? You don't bring your pet to church, do you? No, 
Wow! So how could this reading help us think more about God? Well, during Lent, we need to clean up our act just like the temple needed to be cleaned up. So if there are parts of our hearts or some things that we do that don't show love to God and others, in this week's reading, Jesus is asking us to clean up our act. So maybe that means that we are more kind to our brothers and sisters. Maybe that means we are more respectful to our parents. Maybe that means we take a more careful and thoughtful time to pray each day. And when we do those things, we will clean up our heart, just like Jesus cleaned up the temple. Friends, are you ready to sing our Yes, Lord, I Believe song? Let's begin. In God the Father, yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see, yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. God's only Son, born of Mary, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father, I believe in God the Son, I believe in the Spirit. And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand I believe, I do believe Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe He died for us so we could live Yes, Lord, I believe Do you believe He rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe He's seated now at God's right hand Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Spirit And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand I believe I do believe do you believe in God's great church? Yes, Lord, I believe And all the saints who've walked with God Yes, Lord, I believe Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe That we will rise to life again Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Spirit and the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand I believe, I do believe This is our faith which we profess Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Spirit and the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand I believe, I do believe I believe, I do believe Before we finish today, friends, let's take just a moment and quiet our hearts and our minds and offer our prayers to God. We pray for all of our family, all of our friends, all of the helpers, and all of our pets. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those people who might be sick, who might be hurt, who might be lonely, or who might be sad. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. And friends, in this season of Lent, let's pray that we might clean up our hearts and ask for forgiveness for all of those things we know that we've done wrong or that we could have done better so that we might celebrate Easter with great joy. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Is there something special that you would like to say to God today? Can you think about what it is you'd like to say? And on three, we'll share it together. Are you ready? One, two, three. I pray for all of the children watching Children's Liturgy of the Word today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. My friends, I hope that you have a beautiful week ahead, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time at Children's Liturgy of the Word.